Hello friends. Pragnananda defeated the reigning world champion Ding Liren in Norway chess tournament recently. Their classical game ended in a draw. So the Armageddon game played as a tiebreaker. Prag with white pieces has 10 minutes and Ding with black pieces has 7 minutes. If the game is drawn, Ding will get the point. So it is a must win for Prag. Prag opens with one d4. Ding replies with knight f6. Prag plays bishop g5, called as Tromposki attack, which is less common. Ding plays d5. After e3, c5, bishop takes f6, g takes f6, Prag goes for bishop b5 check. Again, bit uncommon move, but Prag is trying to unsettle D in a must win game. After bishop d7, bishop takes d7, knight takes d7, Prag plays knight e2. Here, black is slightly ahead in development, while Prag has managed to create imbalances. We have e6 by Ding. Prag goes for short castle. We have pin c7 by Ding, keeping his options open to castle either long or short. Prag plays knight d2. Ding replies with bishop d6, attacking the h2 pawn. Prag plays h3. After c takes d4, knight takes d4, Prag is threatening knight to b5 with a double attack on the black pin and the bishop. So, Ding prevents it with a6. Here, Prag can play solid move like rook c1 followed by c4, planning to open the position. However, he goes for aggressive move pin h5, threatening knight takes e6 as the f7 pawn is pinned. Ding replies with short castle. It looks like a risky decision. But Ding is planning to put his king on h8, followed by bringing the rooks on the semi open g5, attacking the white king. After c3, king h8, rook a to d1, Ding goes for f5. Preventing e4 pawn break for Prag. After knight f3, Ding plays knight f6, attacking white queen. Prag goes for queen h6, defending the queen and attacking the knight. Ding plays queen e7, defending the knight. Prag goes for c4 pawn break. Here, Ding is slightly better. He plays d takes c4. Knight c6 is objectively the best move for Prague. However, it leads to draw. Like b takes c6, rook takes d6, queen takes d6, queen takes f6 check, king g8, and the perpetual checks, queen g5, etc. As this is a must win game for Prague, he goes for knight g5 instead. Ding goes for rook a d8. After rook d2, rook g8, rook f to d1, rook g6, queen h4, Ding plays rook d to g8, doubling the rooks on the semi open g5. However, it is a terrible blunder. Prak finds knight d to f3, an amazing move, defending the g5 knight and attacking the black bishop on d6. If Ding defends the bishop with bishop to c7, Prak can play rook d7, attacking the queen and subsequently the f7 pawn. Please note that Ding cannot play knight takes d7, as queen takes h7 would be met. Ding plays h6, but there is no real threat as the pawn is pinned. After Prak captured, Bishop with rook takes d6, Ding resigned as his position was completely falling apart. So, 
In this must-win game, Prag found the amazing move knight d to f3 to defeat the reigning world champion Ding Liren. Pragnanand finished third in this prestigious tournament after Magnus and Hikaru. He also defeated Magnus, Caruana, Alireza in classical and Hikaru in Armageddon games. So overall, a very commendable performance by Pragnananda.